Michelle and Mark detectives say this is a gut wrenching case. They say the 11 year old boy had been the subject of earlier child abuse reports as the memorial in his honor here continues to grow. Authorities now are investigating what went wrong. Neighbors continue to add to a growing memorial in honor of an innocent life lost. An 11 year old boy killed police say by his mother after suffering from severe abuse and malnutrition. It's, it's very shocking, but at the same time, it seems like as time progresses, the stories get worse. 39 year old Veronica Aguilar is now behind bars. Aguilar's husband called police to their Echo Park home Monday afternoon after she told him her son was dead. Once they arrived at the location, they entered the residence and discovered the deceased child in his bedroom wrapped around in a blanket with obvious signs of trauma throughout his body and he appeared to be dead for some time. Neighbors say the family had only moved in a couple of months ago. One resident who doesn't want to be identified says there were already signs something was wrong. We hear that the social services had been over here a couple of times already and they didn't live here that long. Detectives say the Department of Children and Family Services had contacted the family before, but it's unclear what actions they took. DCFS says it cannot comment on specifics of the case, but says the department has made a number of improvements following several high profile cases, including the death of eight year old Gabriel Fernandez, who was beaten to death by his mother and her boyfriend. Several social workers also charged in the case for being criminally negligent. As police investigate the circumstances around this latest tragedy, detectives say one thing is crystal clear. In my uh, 25 year uh, career as a law enforcement officer, this ranks is one of the worst cases I've seen, and it's really heartening. Uh, no child, no matter the age, should ever have to experience this type of life and this type of end to his life. He says this troubling case has affected the department so much that the LAPD is now working to make sure that the 11 year old receives the honorable funeral he deserves. As for his mother, she remains behind bars being held on $100,000 bail. She's set to be arraigned tomorrow. Live in Echo Park, Leanne Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.